Well, you know what they say, if you make enough mistakes, you just might become an expert. I am Preston Bailey and I became an expert the hard way. So here's the story, straight from the pages of my diaries, of how I built a business from nothing to a worldwide brand. Hello, my name is Preston and this is Pillow Talk. I plan weddings and events for a living. I transform rooms like this into rooms like this. Do you want to see that again? I transform rooms like this into rooms like this. How about another? Rooms like this. Into rooms like this. I transform my clients' fantasies into realities and work better to dream big than from my big fantasy bed. This is where I let my imagination run wild. Too wild? I love lying in bed and just dreaming away. And this is also where I write my diaries. I've started writing my diaries 20 years ago. Some days it's just bitching and whining. Writing in these diaries is the only way I could keep my sanity. I would like to share with you how I went from nothing to creating a worldwide brand. Not only that, but I would like to share with you also my many mistakes. It's all here in my diaries. September the 15th, 1992. Yesterday was the worst day of my life. I went to my bank and the IRS shut down my account because I owe them so much back taxes. September the 18th, 1992. I just got back from the floral market and I'm doing a wedding Saturday and my floral supplier refused to give me my flowers because I owe them so much fucking money. I have been trying begging. I am just so screwed. I think I've hit rock bottom. September 22nd, 1992. Yesterday, I had a visit from my good friends, the IRS. I almost pooped myself. Folks, you might not know this. A few years back, I was almost $2 million in debt. I was broke, hiding from my vendors, afraid of going to jail. I was doing 12 weddings a week. My phone was ringing off the hook. The celeb was calling. I was the flavor of the month. And I was broke. I was in tears. And here are my three biggest mistakes. Number one, not paying the taxes. Number two, not charging enough. With that subject, I could write a book. Number three, the event industry. Dirty little secret. Please watch my next pillow talk and I'll tell you how in three years I managed to turn it all around. And remember, you could think small, you could think big, be brave and think big.